like to share a little bit today about drawing your own patterns for your bird carving. One of the things that I like to use is I have a big notebook here. It's a 14 by 17. That gives me a lot of room to play. And you can see on here the sketch for that Samuel Crane bus that's back there. Hi, my name is Dave and I am a bird nerd. Welcome to my community, bird sculptors and painters. Another little thing I like to use with my patterns is I have this, it's plastic, but it's this portfolio that I got from like an office supply company. Apparently I can't open it while I'm on camera, but anyway, it's got all these folders in it. And these are the larger folders. These are the legal size folders. So I have all my patterns in here that I've drawn over time in case I want to use them or do something different with them. To save a little time, I've gone ahead and taken this side pattern that I've already drawn and traced it on this big notebook, this 14 by 17 notebook. So the next step, I use a T-square like this. The next step to getting your lined up top and bottom views is to go ahead and just scribe a line that shows you where the front of the breast is and the edge of the tail. And it might be hard to see on this video, but for the tail, oh, actually you can see it. I'm just using this dotted line that's already on this notebook. So then what I'll do, I'll leave myself a little room for the head. So I'm gonna use this head. So something like this. I'll go ahead and just make another line perpendicular to that line. Okay, so now I know where the front of the breast has to end, where the end of the tail has to be. And I will say I'm gonna make this bird six and a half inches wide. And that just, that just comes from experience. Because of that, I will make half of the pattern only and I'll make him like three and a quarter inches. It's not, it doesn't have to be exact right now for demoing for you guys. So I have a whole video series of doing this with a software program on your computer called GIMP, but it is a little intimidating for some people, especially if you're not like the kind of person that likes to sit at the computer and do this stuff. So this is how I used to do it or how I will do it by hand. So now I know what my, my major dimensions are and I'm gonna draw half of this body. I'm just gonna go ahead and come in here and say, all right, the widest point's gonna be about here and just go ahead and, and make a quick sketch of what I want this body to look like. Making sure to terminate the edge here so that it doesn't come to a point like that and look weird, but it has a nice round, nice round edge. Same thing with the tail back here. I'll say, hey, the tail on the side pattern comes up to here. And then I'll draw my line and say, okay, that's where the tail needs to meet the body there. So I can draw the tail now, and let's say it's gonna be about this wide. Let's say the tail's gonna be shaped like this. Now I can draw my, the rest of my body to match. He kind of looks a little bit short and squat. Um, you know, then I would make changes from here and say, oh, you know, I don't like the way that curves. Um, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and lengthen that, broaden it out. Something like this. Just lining up those marks here, the front of the breast, the back of the tail. That'll help you get that matching top and side view of your um, bird pattern. So same thing applies to the head as well. So I will take this head that I've already drawn and put it on here because I want to show you one more tip. I'll take this uh, spoony head. Obviously, I'm going to have to change its dimensions a little bit. So the first thing I'll do is go ahead and trace it down on my paper. And I want to show you a couple of tips about this. Get the pattern traced out, and then we'll make our adjustments on the shape. And we'll say his, his bill's about here, like this. We'll go ahead and fix this back, especially, and say, all right. Kind of at a weird angle with the camera here for drawing, so my lines are going to be a little sloppy, but something like this, okay? Just go ahead and... Give him a kind of a kind of a real sharp turn here. You know, his eyes can be right about here. 
So the reason why I wanted to show you this is when I go to put my head pattern on now, I wanna do the exact same thing I did with the body, right? I wanna line up the back of the head and make a line. Same thing with the front of the bill. I wanna make a line here and match it. Okay, and I'll use an existing pattern again. And obviously I have to change it a little bit. Now I shorten this head, so I'm gonna keep the bill and fix the back of it. But here's the most important part of this, right? Um, when you go to cut this head out on the bandsaw now, you've got this body pattern and he's, his head is, is at an angle and you, you don't want to match the, you don't want to match the head with that. So what I like to do is I will say, all right, this is the flat. In other words, this, this line here, make this nice and dark. This line here needs to be parallel with the bottom of my block of wood when I line this pattern up. So this line here is not gonna match the bottom of that block. So I will actually take the wood and make a line like that and line it up here and here so that I can get everything squared right. Because it's very important that when you have a top pattern here, where'd my top pattern go? There it is. It's very important when you have a top pattern here and a side pattern that you don't rotate the side pattern or the top pattern. They have to be in line with each other or your cutout's not gonna come right. So obviously, you know, I gotta fix this pattern. The main tip I wanted to show you with that is that you're not always lining up your head block with the bottom of the block of wood that you're cutting it out from. So again, I have a whole series on doing this on the computer, but for the quick easy, you're already out in the shop, or if you just don't like to use the computer, just use these lines to line up the fronts and backs of your heads and your bills, you know, your tails. Um, if you're gonna bulge out a side pocket, same thing goes there. Line that up with your square. Say, okay, I'm gonna have a side pocket bulge there. And then, you know, your body will be come here instead of there. It's very important to get everything all nice and lined up so that when you go cut it out on the bandsaw, it looks the way you think it's going to be. Or, you know, you don't cut off part of the breast or make a square spot somewhere that you have to fix in your carving later. If you enjoyed this tip, hit the subscribe button. Then you'll know when I upload more of the good stuff. You should probably also consider joining my community, Bird Sculptors and Painters. There's a link in the description below this video, and that will get you all the best tips and tricks delivered straight to your inbox, as well as updates on all the courses that I offer. I look forward to supporting you in your journey to Total Bird Nerd. Thank you.